fire. Welcome back, my wizards. It's Lendon from VisionaryFire.com, back for another episode of God Level Green Screen Techniques. Today, we're gonna cover how to refine and enhance the edge detail on your key. We're talking about motion blur. We're gonna cover how to reduce chatter and also how to enhance the edge detail of really difficult hair keys. I know it's tricky to pull out all that hair detail up there, but you know, be patient. You know, it takes a while to reach God level. By the way, as you can tell, I also decided to become an enlightened monk that works on visual effects. You know what, subscribe to this channel or I'm gonna give you bad karma. By the way, if this tutorial doesn't cover the problem you're having, there's a link in the description to the playlist of the other God level green screen tutorials. So you can see this hair detail doesn't look great compared to the original. So the first edge detail effect we're gonna cover is called the key cleaner. So you can find this from your effects and presets. Let's apply the key cleaner. Now you can see, first of all, it's, it looks all messed up. And the reason is because the key light is on final result which has all this edge coloring and now it confuses the key cleaner. If we turn, turn it to intermediate result, boom, look at that. So there's way more clean edge detail on this hair just from this key cleaner effect. Pretty stunning. Now I'm gonna show you why this final result doesn't work is because if we turn off the alpha channel, you can see that the final result recolors the edges and the green stuff and when we apply this key cleaner, it's, it's not looking at the original footage, it's all messed up. So, and the same thing, like there's other types of edge effects. Like in the other tutorials, we talked about the refine soft matte, decontaminate edge colors. That also plays with the edges. If we look at that here, you know, see it's playing with the color of the edges, this refine soft matte. And then when we apply the key cleaner, it's, all, it's gonna be all messed up because of these edge color effects. So if ever your edge looks really weird like this, it's because there's some edge color effect like final result, refined soft matte, even motion blur effects. So first you get the detail right, then you fix the color of the edge. You can't do it the other way around. It calls this weird stuff. So the first option we have is the edge radius. So we can increase this if we wanted to get more detail. For this shot, there's a lot of feathered hair. So we want to you know, keep this high like 15, but some shots we don't need this much. So the second option is the reduce chatter. Now what is chatter? <coughs> yeah, that really annoying stuff. So if we turn this on, it's gonna reduce the chatter in our scenes, but it does take longer to render. So keep that in mind. So a lot of times we like to turn this off, then we can add a marker. And on this marker, we'll remind ourselves to turn on reduce chatter before render, okay? So we won't forget to turn that back on before we render. But until then, while we're working, it'll render much faster because this reduced chatter is off. Also, we have the alpha contrast. Now this is a great way to make the edge heart more sharp. So in this case, it doesn't look good because we have the hair, but a lot of cases we can make the edge less soft by increasing the alpha contrast. That's one of the best ways to do it. And if you want to blur the edge, I would recommend the channel, channel blur effect and turn up the alpha blurriness. That's the best way to blur the edge. Now you can see here we have a problem because it's only blurring the alpha channel and it's not actually blurring the color so we can see the green and stuff behind here. So it's not blurring it quite properly but when we do the motion blur, I'll show you a, a better way to blur the edge to where we don't see the green screen and then all this stuff behind it. Another way I control how hard the edge is is with the curves effect. If we go over here to the curves channel, choose alpha, then we can boost the alpha like this. You can see it makes the edge harder. It kind of expands as well. So we can shrink it or expand it like that. And if we just want to make it more hard, we can add contrast like this. So you have really good control over how hard and soft the edge is with this curves alpha channel. Hey, I wonder if we can do something weird like this. Ooh. Okay, so that's how you make the edge sharper or more blurred. We can also turn down the strength of this key cleaner um, sometimes it's too intense, but it gives us a pretty good result. Now there, there is another effect that works just like key cleaner where it enhances and cleans up the detail, but it has different pros and cons compared to key cleaner. So this effect is called refined soft matte. You can also find this in your effects and presets. So we'll take a picture of key cleaner. Now let's turn on refined soft matte. Now off the bat, you can see that refined soft matte has more edge detail. Look at that. But the disadvantage is more chatter. 
Okay, this refined soft matte can be pretty bad about chatter. Now it does have a nice chatter reduction feature. You always want to turn it to smoother, slower. Now this does work pretty good, but you can see that the smoother, slower, it does remove some detail. And when they said smoother, slower, they weren't joking because it really does render a lot slower with this chatter reduction setting. You can turn this up more if we still see the chatter but this chatter reduction does work really well if you do see chattering problems. Now the other difference in the refined soft matte effect is it fills in little holes like this. If we view the edge region, if this edge region covers the whole hole, then it's gonna fill it in. So then, sometimes that can be really annoying. I mean, obviously we can mask it out, like apply a mask and then, you know, subtract the refined soft matte from the section, subtract. So the refined soft matte doesn't apply to that section, but that can be kind of tedious trying to control. But sometimes it is useful if you, if you do want to fill in the holes. And also it will remove specks on your green screen. So you can see it removed that. So a lot of times the key cleaner will work better because it's just simpler and has less issues. But refined soft matte definitely has its advantages in some cases. Now I'm going to cover two more ninja ways to add detail to the edge of the key. After that, we're gonna jump into the techniques for how to add motion blur to the edge. Now stay tuned for that. Now if we have a look at this case where there's not really any detail, it looks too smooth. Sometimes I'll use the roughen edges effect. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot worse. We're gonna change the edge type to spiky. Okay, so now let's turn the scale down a lot. You can see where I'm going with this. We're kind of creating some detail that, that didn't exist before. Maybe turn down the sharpness, whatever you want to do. And you got to animate this offset turbulence to move with the head so it doesn't slip. We could also turn down the opacity of this rough and edges effect. So double click and go down to the compositing options, turn down the opacity of the rough and edges. So you can see that is a method to add a little bit more detail if it just looks too smooth. Also, don't forget about the roto brush tools. We can go over here, select the refine edge, hold control, make this bigger. Get some pretty great results with that. That's crazy detail. Look at that. I will say you also want to be careful with chatter with this. So again, you can turn the chatter reduction to smoother, slower, whatever you have to do. So now let's talk about motion blur with these king effects all right we have these people and this is like the perfect example because we have these people moving around going crazy and so there should be some motion blur but we have these ugly hard edges first of all in the refine refine soft matte effect we have a motion blur checkbox so we can turn this motion blur on and a lot of times this works pretty good i'm going to turn off the calculate edge details the disadvantage of using this motion blur is again it renders pretty slow and it's not very accurate either a lot of times the hand will move and it doesn't really detect the motion blur and so it doesn't add the motion blur but this example is working pretty good because it has pretty clean you know motion of the head so it's working pretty pretty good what i recommend for the most part is just using the rsmb plugin real smart motion blur okay so just apply this and a lot of times you can get away with, um, because it doesn't only just blur the alpha or the edge, um, it also blurs the um, footage. And sometimes this is okay. You know, you can just kind of make things simple and let it blur the footage. Now, first of all, I want to brag more about how this effect is so, such an amazing plugin. Okay, first off, it renders super fast. We can accelerate with GPU. Um, and it's much more accurate and just has a much more beautiful look than the the built-in After Effects motion blur effects. Okay, look how beautiful the, these edges look with this refined uh, Real Smart Motion Blur. Now, the problem is it's not just blurring the alpha channel, meaning the, the transparency. It's also blurring the actual footage. Okay, sometimes you can just get away with this. Just let it blur the footage, especially since we reduce the noise and we're going to add the noise in after. Should be fine blurring the footage just too much it's ruining the beautiful professional footage and the client is really picky what you can do is pre-compose everything except the motion blur so we pre-compose call this key okay and then here we have the. so we're going to duplicate this key so one of it's going to be called um, the motion blur footage 
and the other is just the key without the motion blur. So we can copy this motion blur effect onto this layer, control V. Um, and then we're gonna stick the key layer on top. Okay, so you can see where we're going with this. So now we're getting there. So it's, we're kind of bringing back the original footage. So if we just choke this footage, we do simple choker, we're gonna bring the edges, bring it away from the motion blurred edges. Okay, and you can see we have this hard line here, um, channel blur, and then so we can just blur these edges so we don't have that hard edge there. So now we have the motion blur on the edges, and then we have the original footage to add back the detail on everywhere except the edges. And this works so much better because it's not only blurring the alpha channel, but it's also blurring the footage to just really blend with the alpha channel. And so we can use this same technique to do a real edge blur. So if we replace this motion blur with just a regular fast box blur, that's how we just blur the edges, blurring the alpha channel plus the colors, not just the alpha channel where we see the hard green screen line behind that blurry alpha channel. Make sure to visit me over at visionaryfire.com if you don't want to lose access to all my crazy tutorials, software, and VFX resources. I've had so much fun with you, my wizard, being creative. My name is Lennon for visionaryfire.com, and until next time, I'll leave you to it. Visionary Fire.